prepping our office. So the purpose of this video today is we're gonna show you how to save money on a whiteboard. Welcome to our YouTube channel. What's up? We know we've been really absent. Well, at least I have been. Daryl's over here been vlogging. Vlogging. <laughs> um, I've been getting ready to start my program's portion of didactic, so I've been having to move across states, get everything situated, and we've been prepping our office. So the purpose of this video today is we're gonna show you how to save money on a whiteboard. So personally, I'm not a big whiteboard user, but I have been told by plenty of my mentors that this is something that you're gonna need and it's almost necessary um, just to try to draw, like, draw out concepts, draw, draw out pictures of anatomy and things of such. And it'll just be handy for me because it'll be right there in my study room and I can stare at it until I cry and my eyes fall out, so. And it's like if you look at a lot of the whiteboards and things are online, they're like $200. $400, like it's super pricey, so we gotta make our own. Whenever you're in grad school, um, I don't know about anybody else, but we on a budget, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started. So we went ahead and pulled up to Home Depot and we found this stuff called a hardy board. Pretty cheap, right? We had to find one that didn't look all beat up. Pretty big thing, it's a uh, 48 inches by 96 inches. So it's pretty much gonna take up our entire wall. So then we had to find a border. These were pretty pricey. So we were originally gonna go to Michael's to get a border, but then we ended up finding one that was pretty cheap. It fit perfectly on top of the whiteboard and it was just long enough. So each one of these were about $3 each. And like I said, they fit perfectly on top. So we got it on both sides, and then here we have fabulous Monica being Monica. Next, we need something called mirror holders. Uh, this is what's gonna basically hold the whiteboard on the wall. You need two packs of these. 3420, you can't beat that. Apparently, our math wasn't adding up. The board is much bigger than what our Jeep is allowing us. So we have to uh, improvise. Improvise, use our nursing brains. So what I attempted to do was to bungee cord this board on top of the car and it didn't work. All this was making my brain hurt. I needed some coffee, so I went to Starbucks and Dara waited. So my boy Drew pulled up with the, uh, the truck and it was pretty simple once he came. We got it fitting perfectly in the back of his truck. This is why it's good to make sure that you have people that support you in school. He even came in and helped me put the board up. So that was really, really helpful. I'm so glad that I saved money on this project. Shout out to my mentors for giving me this tip. Thanks for tuning in.